Hello, I'm Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to another episode of the E30 Day Challenge. And uh, now I'm going to go out and see about blowing myself up or whatever. Got my destroyer here. Uh, going to go out and uh, do some missions, see how it uh, works out, get a little bit more familiar with this ship. Uh, I'm liking it so far, but... Um, I uh, I can say that I'm not a hundred percent with it, so knowing what I'm doing. So, okay, I'm undocking, heading out. Inc, are we still in a fleet? I think so. Yeah. Yep. You gonna tag along? Sure. Uh, you're in you're in Gal Galent space, and if I go to Galent space, I'd get destroyed. Oh. Marky, you should invite me to your fleet. Uh, um, how do I do that? Are you, um, where are I'm you? Right next to you. Are you Joshua? He's in local. Yeah, that's me. Okay, I think I sent you an invite. Yep. Can you make me the fleet booster? I have some skills of those. You mean the fleet commander? Just Let's no, see. the field commander doesn't uh, necessarily need to be the uh, isn't necessarily necessarily the booster. Okay, I set you to fleet booster. I've never messed with those things before, but there it is. my space fish. I think those totally look like gills. Or an angry li lizard that's uh, tr raising its uh, neck aggressive thingy. Oh yes. I have lizards everywhere here at my house. And they, they have this little flap under their chin that they puff out. When they're, I think when they're trying to impress the women. <laughs> Everyone loves somebody with a strong chin. Okay, I made it back in time. <laughs> Stepped away for a second. In between warps. It's always fun to step away from the computer for two minutes and then you see you're suddenly in the station when you come back. Oh yes, you're at the station. Hmm. Yes, what happened there, huh? Or, or if 
actually fall asleep while mining and wake up and the rats have killed you. Ah. That's happened before. Yeah. So Thorin Tobe 603 says, Sorry Marky, nothing personal, but your bounty will be mine. Well, you only need to come and kill me probably about 400, 500 times. And you can have all of it. Much more, I think. Much more. <laughs> if you're flying such small ships. <laughs> yeah. To collect on your bounty because I got blown up my burst and my bounty is still 100,000. Current payout rate on Marky if he if if his ship get popped. Um, let me have a look. Bounties there. Round about 50k. 50,000? 50, 50,000 per destruction of your ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll only take a couple years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm never, uh, I'm never gonna lose this bounty. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> but. You know, that's what it is. Well, you'll have to forgive me, but it's 3.30 in the morning and I need a coffee. Oh, man. You in Australia? So, I, I'll be back. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be back. No problem. I've not seen uh, anyone hostile today. Yeah, this is kind of surprising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got sick of it, maybe. Yeah, they got bored. They caught me once or twice and said, now we'll leave them alone. I don't know, maybe I should look and see if we still have all the war declarations on us. Oh, we do. Oh, we do? Two of them are active, I think. We have three war decks on us right now. Yeah, okay. Rollers was telling me that some, that some other uh, corp was helping us out and providing some muscle, uh, giving them some reason to stay away. Well, we got a mercenary corp to fight the smaller of the, the smallest of the three, the one that actually camped our home. The other two are still still wanting to kill us. Mm-hmm. Well, requested. you know, it seems to me that, uh, so like, uh, if I went to battle against a frigate, uh, do you think I would, you know, like the, the, um, what was that, a raptor? What, what was the other one that I was flying? Rifter. 
rifter. Um, if I went up to battle against a rifter, do you think my ship would win? It really depends. If you were to go up against my rifter, mm -hmm. I would expect that I would be able to take you out before you could take me out. Mm -hmm. Because I've got my skills trained up. I've got my... Uh, I'm only buffer tankering, buffer tanking, but... You know, I've got all those skills up, and I'm pretty sure that I can survive the damage from you long enough to kill you. Mm -hmm. But typically, destroyers are very good at killing frigates. Yeah. yeah. Just while you've got no defenses, though, it's possible to pop you. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Especially for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Huh? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to accept this mission, and I am going out to, um, oh, I'm reporting to another agent. That's my whole mission. I go, I'll fly all the way out here to speak to one agent to report to another agent. Okay. Oh, I see you got a board deck from a bigger alliance, so. Just a few jumps to go. It's a nice looking space station. It's big. Yes, some of them are really huge. Haha, <laughs> synchronized warping. Oh, you're warping right behind Almost. me? Almost. Almost? This makes me want, the, playing this game makes me want to go out and watch ap episodes of Babylon 5. <laughs> that is a fantastic show. You like that? Yeah. You know, I have Easily a, my favorite TV show. I have a great <laughs> picture that, got, that I got autographed by the majority of the, uh, uh, the majority of the, the main characters in the show. And um, it's just a simple little unassuming picture of them kind of standing in a V. And everything and you don't you don't really think too much of it uh, but when you get up closer you realize that it's titled FUB5 and uh, when you look closer every single one of them is flipping you the bird <laughs> <laughs> so just kind of a cute uh, cute little uh, thing there I used to have a whole bunch of autograph stuff. I had all this stuff uh, from all the Star Trek characters and a um, whole bunch of Babylon 5, um, a bunch of other, other things too. And, and uh, I don't know, I probably had about a hundred, hundred autograph pictures that I had collected and uh, just disappeared one day. I never saw it. I never saw my book of them again. I have no clue where it went. So. Thank you very educated guess. Yeah. yeah. Disappeared a few years ago. Um, so. Who knows? We're in a box somewhere from moving that's never been properly unpacked. Well, maybe, except that uh, now that I've been divorced, moved a couple of times, remarried. I know I've been through every box that I have. <laughs> so, Have you checked underneath the seat of your motorbike? Because I found that I actually had left a my copy of Thud by Terry Pratchett there, and I found that like a year later. <laughs> and I sort of lost it. Yeah, actually the seat does not come up on my bike. It's all gas tank underneath it. Um, the... 
But it do, I do have the cargo stuff on the sides and in the back. There's a hidden compartment in the back. Um, but I just put all my insurance information in there and manuals. I like my bike. It's uh, supposed to be raining all week though. I, I love to go out and ride. It's just not the same in a car. No, not at all. Zooming along. Not at all. And here where I'm living, even in the summer, it's still 75 degrees in the afternoons. Um, in in or in the winter, in the summer, it's um, it's uh, gets up to about 90. But we have like 100% humidity at 90 degrees. And so, and then you have to. I also have. Uh, weather navigation on my bike so that I can avoid the thunderheads because um, if you get caught in a thunderhead on your motorcycle out here <clears throat> it can be 60 mile an hour winds and hail and everything even though it's 90 degrees out uh, and lightning galore um, and it's just not a very safe environment uh, to be underneath a thunderhead. <clears throat> Wouldn't 100% humidity be the air being solid water? Actually, it's not. It, it, you know, you would think so, but it's not. But definitely, if you were to take a piece of paper outside, five minutes later it would be damp. Um, yeah. And the um, and when you um, you know at 90 degrees, you're running the AC in your car, and you have to turn your windshield wipers on sometimes because the water starts uh, collecting on the outside of the windshield. And uh, even though it's a uh, sunny day so it's it's kind of interesting when you walk outside of the house uh, your glasses instantly fog up um, and uh, and if you're not used to it it completely takes your breath away so the first time I came to Florida I stepped off a plane and I was like holy shit what have I done to myself <laughs> doesn't your mirror protect from lightning and other crap does what protect it your beard, doesn't it? My protect beard. You? <laughs> my beard offers me no protection against lightning. Uh, the rubber on my wheels do, but it's the 60 mile an hour gusts that will knock you off your bike. Um, so, um, I'll be filming some uh, this summer um, with uh, lightning storms. I have a couple of videos up that are um, of. Um, uh, where I filmed out in the back during a storm and uh, it was just a little one too. Uh, the winds were only about 35 or 40 miles an hour uh, but I got all wet most definitely even though I was undercover. Uh, it should be exciting. On a motorbike rally at some point? What's that? Do you fan, plan on filming at a bike rally at one point? You know I've thought about it I've done, uh, when I was in Mississippi, I went on several bike rallies uh, where we had like full police escorts for like a hundred mile ride to where the only stops were the plan stops. Every time we went through it, we went through red lights, stop signs, everything. And, um, and uh, but you know, we had police escort for that. Um, and that was fun. Uh, I gotta get a camera that'll attach to my bike. Uh, my big camera. There's no way. Um, and even my little cameras, I'm like, well, it's not probably a, a good idea. So, uh, I don't want to try and, uh, I, I take uh, motorcycling very seriously. You know, you can lose control of your bike pretty easy. And my bike is, it's a big cruiser and, and or touring bike. And it, uh, it weighs over 800 pounds. I was yeah. going to say, yeah, for, for people that don't ride motorbikes, when Mikey says big, that's almost an understatement. Yeah, it's about the biggest bikes that there are. Um, uh, he's got a... Uh, Goldwing. No, it's not a Harley. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's a Goldwing. It's a Harley. It's like, no, it's not a Harley. Um, you like Harleys better. Well, um, Harleys have that's attributes and Goldwings have attributes. Harleys are loud and mean looking. Um, my my bike is sleek and very quiet. It's like a luxury tour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
you've basically got an armchair on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got heated seats, I got heated grips, I've got forced hot air on my feet, I've got um, stereo, satellite navigation, all that stuff. So, okay, just taking care of this order here. What did Marky do to get 6.27 billion bounty? Uh, he started live streaming Eve. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's the end of story. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's all I did. So, um, thank you to you fans who really like me that uh, got me um, to be the number one most wanted. <laughs> okay. So, complete mission. Sure, I'll split everything with everybody. Why not? <laughs> okay, so this guy wants me to... What? This site contains normal ship restrictions? If it's not red, you're good. Oh. Basically means you can't go into it with a carrier and stuff like that. Really odd stuff. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, people asking if Mikey's first, uh, go check out his Facebook page. He's got pictures up of that. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, if somebody wants to post my, my Facebook page, it's Facebook forward slash Marky Dragon. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, pictures of the, the bounty board and everything on there. And you can follow me there if you want to. Um, I don't really say too much interesting there, but a lot of people are waiting for me to say interesting things, I guess. Um, okay, so I'm going to accept this mission. And following rewards, let's see, scout out the drone hive and report back on friendly vessels. So I, I gotta, all i got to do is just go out there, look at it, and come back? No fighting? Yep, sounds like. That sounds boring. <laughs> but if there are enemies, you can kill them as well. It's not a problem. So, location is here. I don't understand. I'm at the corporate refinery, and it says the location is just this sector, but it doesn't tell me anything about more about the location. So I guess I'll find that out whenever I exit out. Yeah, that means it's just a dead space pocket. Oh, okay. Okay. We're looking good here. Okay. Here we go. Completed. All right, skill training completed. Sound of Eve. Okay. Oh, is this one of them jump points? Let's see, what am I doing here? Do I need to use the acceleration gate? Is that why I'm here? Yeah. Yeah. Just activate it. Any mission with ship restrictions of any sort will have an acceleration gate at the start of it. Oh, really? Hmm. That's okay. what prevents the other ships from going through. Okay. Wow. Those look like enemies. Yes. But um Bones. That is uh that is a very big ship. It's uh it's a drone colony. 
Yeah. Hmm. So there, there are these uh, these rogue drones, these AI drones that are uh, that build themselves up and are like entity. And you can go into Nullsec where there is drone infested space where you have these drones in belts and everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, is it unwise to tackle these guys or take them? They're only small. They are really small. Yeah, yeah. they're a long yeah. way away though. Off yeah. Uh huh. No afterburner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, right, well, heading that way. Just turn on your damage control. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. And have you checked your optimal and set your orbiting range and things, like, basic things like that? Uh, I set my orbiting range, but what's what's optimal? What do you mean? Optimal range for your weapon. Yeah, put put the cursor o o over the I mean over the weapons button, then then you get the window that, that shows you your optimal and fall of range. Yeah. yeah. So optimal is uh, 6,600 meters, and I'm at 5,000 meters. You can orbit at seven dot five clicks. Should you not think, be a problem. You think that would be better? Yep. Okay. Here's and there's current Caldari uh, Navy battleships here. Hmm? Caldari Navy battleships? That are here? Yeah, they are Friendly. white fronts, so don't shoot them. Right. Or they will shoot you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they will obliterate you. And I see that um, somebody here is shooting. If it's there, it can be blown up. Hmm. Yeah, they are shooting at the drone colony. Yeah, that's Ink shooting there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Ink, what are, what are you planning on uh, that's going to happen with that? You think that whole thing's going to blow up? Yeah, you will see a very beautiful explosion at the end. Yeah. Although typically it's more, it's a bit underwhelming for how big yeah. it is. Yep. True. Yeah, and l and luckily it doesn't uh, get it doesn't work like uh, you don't get damage from when it explodes. Luckily, hmm. sometimes it, you do. Yeah, and it, not not with this. It that's just in more complex things. So I'm heading out over towards these other things, but where do I even? I, um, I'm not sure that I even see that hive thing on the the overview. Um, then you have, I think it's a, a structure. I don't large know. Collidable structures. Yeah, large oh, okay. collidable structure. You need to activate it. Good. But that'll fail your overview with a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need the overview setup, definitely, yeah. So that you have different tabs for different things, PvP, mining, salvaging, all ETC. Right. And, and if you're flying a cloaked ship, then you have to have a ton of things in your overview to avoid uh, things that can uncloak you. Yeah. Mm. And you need a oh shit tab. Ah, uh, yes. Now a tab I'm... Where you, that you need to run away, where you can easily select something where you can warp to. <laughs> now, I see that you guys are um, able to... Sh who is that that's able to shoot so far? That's ink. What What is it you're... Um... Oh, I guess you're... Using you're... light missiles. Light missiles, mm -hmm. yep. if I'm not wrong. And they... Yeah. 
Yeah, if if you if you would be flying uh, the other destroyer, that uh, is, uh, you can missile fit that one. And in general, my personal opinion, in when fighting NPCs, I prefer missiles. Mhm. Mm yeah, missiles are very good for PVE. They're not so great for PVP most of the time, though. No, they're not good for PV PVP because they don't give insta, insta damage. So. So, so people can escape while the missiles are still flying towards them and that's really bad because if you have lots of missile ships and everybody gets a volley to the enemy and what? he managed to warp away before they hit so that's, that's only really post fighting bad. only on post fighting or something like that it's useful for example with the phoenix the Delta torpedoes, then it makes sense, but PvP itself, no, you already mentioned. Makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, for often for bombardment in general, artillery and missiles are are good because they don't drain your cap, and if you are like half an hour shooting one thing or something, it's really good if it doesn't cap drain your ship. Marky, did you, did you see the guy in local? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. He, he realizes who you are. <laughs> yep. and, and I think he's just a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as we told you, he is full of trolls. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I have to say that I'm getting uh, uh, getting a little bit uh, bored. Well, getting tired of shooting at things that keep disappearing before I or targeting things. And the oh, there's the big explosion. Okay. Well, I'm not shooting at him. Hmm. Yeah, that's because, Marky, you insta pop them with one shot. That's right. Oh. If you lock them, prime your gun. You give got your gun. Okay. Fire, just as you lock, you shoot them and they about them. So, so you are making your own ship, own ships. You're uh, locking, disappear, and making your, yourself have a bad day. Okay, okay. Well, if that's the case, yeah, th th this shows you uh, the, how it compares to the frigate. With the, the, with this much, uh, uh, this more guns, it's uh, everything's easier. Victory. So now these wrecks that are in white, are they salvageable? Yes. Yes, but normally you just ignore drones. They don't have loot, or decent loot, and the salvage is just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't salvage drones. Okay. Well, that was, um, that was Glorious. so entertaining. <laughs> Um, like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, like yeah. mining. This is like mining works. You're mm. sitting there eating one Bonbon bon bon after asteroid. another? Yeah. One asteroid after another, and yeah. Mm -hmm. You can continue that for hours. Yeah, but, but it's but, boring. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but on the. Yeah? You bet on? Yeah, yeah, but on the other hand, you can see now that. Uh, you, you can deal a lot more damage with this ship, and you mm -hmm. can also see that um, where you need to try to optimize, if possible, to put the afterburner into your fit because it is too slow. Now you have uh, have, have seen that by yourself, so you have tested out and see mm -hmm. that uh, it it lacks. But by the by the way, Marky, do you have a skill in training? Because I don't see moving the bar. Yeah, I do have skill in training. Okay, just wondering because. No blue. Yeah. Um, yep, spaceship command level four. Okay. That so, ends, okay. Yeah, still has 20 hours left. Um, and then, you know, as far as uh, training up this ship some more, this is, um, this is a destroyer. I suppose I could go for level three destroyer. Um, 
the mayhem, mayhem allowed to ask to what do you fly now or what do you want to fly what's your goal I just want to go out and kill shit and yeah um, I mean but in which size of ship you want to fly I mean there are several things like you fly destroyers frigate assault ships and then you have the bigger ones heavy assault ship cruisers um, okay then pigs heavy interdictors but they yeah, but to fly some more stuff before he knows what he wants mm -hmm. to fly. Yeah, 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 I'm not 100 percent sure what I want to fly. So, you know, I'm working on destroyers. Let's see, I could probably get a. Uh, oh, I have Minimitar cruiser here, level zero. I could get it to level one, so I could try some cruisers. Yeah, but for that you need the medium guns uh, at least. Uh, otherwise, it makes no sense. Um, no, I'm asking that because. If you want to try out the small ships first, you shall focus on the gunnery skills, even so energy management, and also your armor skills like armor compensation skills, EM thermic, kinetic, explosive, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. I hope you don't take it wrong. It's only a suggestion. I mean. No, no, no. I, I want the suggestions because this is how I am, you know, I'm just learning and taking in data. And even though, you know, I may not know what to do with all of it, um, you know, I just yep. keep, keep moving forward and figuring more things out and, and <clears throat> learn along the way. Yep. So, um, but I have, I have no idea the difference between a destroyer and a cruiser. Um, I don't even know what cruisers cost, you know. It's round about seven. The biggest one, I think, round about eight million maximum. Well, that's not too bad. No, oh, it's not too bad. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Um, Problem is, you can't until you can get the skills to fly, it at, like, on the general first. skills. Yeah, I mean, the first important skills that you have, should have is energy system, uh, energy management, where the capacitor recharge rate is improved and. Um, yeah, energy grid upgrades, energy grid upgrades, energy management, mm -hmm. energy system operation, engineering on five, Basically electronics. Certificates. Uh, has anyone shown you what the certificates are? No. Oh. Yeah, we, I, thought we, I thought you already knew about that. We kept talking I don't know. I see a certificates being awarded, but I have no idea what they are. Yeah, so, so if you look under, under your skills thing up there, there's certificates. Yeah, under skills. In your um, player window thing. Okay. There's certificates. Oh, it's in the left here. Okay. No yep. certificates found. Okay, then just click on Open Certification Planner. And then click on Claim All Certificates. Then you see what you have currently. The blue is what you have, so you can claim all certificates, but on the uh, left there. And you should yeah. open up the core list and go by that, look at the basic, and work your way up from there, except for some of the things like in, in targeting you don't need right now. It wants you to have like targeting four or five or whatever it was. Uh, you'll, you'll see in there. Yeah, but at least he needs the skills like energy system and uh, management and so on. He needs on level four at least. Well, yeah, but like if you follow the core things, it'll th those are yeah. all the skills that will affect all of the ships you fly. Yeah, and they're useful no matter what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Sounds like I have lawnmowers out back. <laughs> uh, yeah. The yard, the yard crews here. It might get noisy. It's difficult. I mean, it's just not easy. So, yeah. So Good to have people that gives you advices how you shall continue. It. All right. So go ahead and close the awarded window. Okay. And then open up the uh, core list on the left. Okay. And then open up basic. See if you have how much of those you have uh, to go. These. Yeah, you still have a few to go. Uh, you can like the circle shows you have only partially done that. Uh, like go to core navigation will help you with uh, your ship's agility and speed. 
uh, competency is basically um, a, a amalgamation of all the other core, uh, and then you'll get a certificate for getting all those other things. You can show these things publicly or hide them uh, in the settings. Um, so like some corps may want to know if you have certain things you know, sk uh, skilled up. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You want to go to, uh, and once you start filling those up, you know, keep going to the next one down, standard, so forth. So, um, and so, okay, so I understand that these are my skills and it's showing me another type of view of my skills, but why do I want certificates? Certificates are Eve's way of letting you know what skills are useful for particular tasks. Okay. And giving you a, a roadmap through them. So okay. the core skills are the roadmap through these are the skills you want no matter what you're doing. Okay. And so, okay, so, um, so these are no matter what. So this is, this like, give me goals to work on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then you have, like, defense there, which is good, too. Okay. You know, I told the lawn company that not to come today. I'm just kidding. They're, like, right outside <laughs> my window here. <laughs> <laughs> they heard you were screaming. Yes. Um... I mean, I think in the beginning time, the, we were talking to you that you can see what certificates are um, recommended from CC directly for this ship, for this ship, for this ship. For example, if you click on the rupture in the market, you can see the requirements that are recommended to really use that ship. Mm -hmm. Not to use that ship perfectly, but to handle it well. So, uh, well, let me ask here. Okay, so my ship that I've got here, this uh, destroyer. Yeah. So if I want to become the best I can possibly be and you know, get all my skills as high as possibly can so that I can be the best destroyer pilot there is mm -hmm. uh, or that's possible, is there, how do I look at that so I can set that as a goal and then write out you know, and For then example, figure out whatever, what all I need? For example, in this case, you can use tools like EVEMON. It's a okay. very good tool to plan your skills mm -hmm. for yeah. a year, for two years, for three years, to make huge plans what you want to skill and what you want to train or what you are will to train. And yeah. yeah. Well, basically, EVE, if you look, if you like, you look at the information for the destroyer. They'll mm -hmm. tell you rec like, and one of the tabs is recommended, like recommended certificates, something like that. Yeah, recommended. Um, those will give you your basic things that you must have. If you level up those more, it'll definitely improve your capability of using that destroyer. But there are also a lot of skills that it will not tell you about there that you'll need somebody, at, like you'll need to find or someone else to tell you about that'll still improve it, but may not be necessary. Mm -hmm. if you, well, you, if you use Eve Mod, there's the. Um... Uh, kind of like the planner thing where it will show you the uh, same type of things that you need, the, the basic skills, and you can right click or, or you can click those and then say, um, you know, plan these, it'll add them to the skill planner. Yep. And then you can um, uh, look at the uh, battle connect loadout thing, they have ratings for them. And generally, what I do is I just take the top rated and second top rated and then add all of those plans that the person has for that. And generally, they'll also have the Tech 2 uh, uh, weapons added to the skill plan as well. So you're going to want to get the Tech 2 guns to uh, really have fun with it. Uh, Marcus, mm -hmm. earlier suggestion, why do you not start a new episode for focusing on each one? I mean, um. it's a tool that's used a lot from, I would say... 70% of the EVE players or more are using that too. Why not doing some episode of it? It's only an idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. then I'll we can a go a bit deeper in that program and... Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, I mean, I'll take a look at it and, um, and decide if we want to, you know, commit some time to that in an episode. Yep. Um, so, um, okay, and I'm going to write that down. There's also the uh, the Eve uh, fitting tool EFT and it's uh, more 
prettier counterpart, which I can't remember the name. Somebody else tell me. I don't know if the stock standard is even more on EFT. I can't remember what the other, the other one was called. I have it on my hard drive somewhere. But it's it works the same as EFT, but it has just a nicer uh, graphic interface on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Pipe is planning fittings or something. Ships. And eight models are planning the character more. Okay. Well, I think uh, this is good information. Uh, I think we'll end this episode here. And uh, for those of you watching live, we're going to give some stuff away. So make sure you're following. Uh, and those of you on YouTube, uh, you'll just have to wait for tomorrow for another episode to see what we come up with. Uh, I think the, I'm going to go out and do a couple more missions. i got to go get, go out and kill some more stuff. Um, and then I wish, I wish that I could just learn these skills even quicker. Because I've got so many things here to do. Um, yeah, that's normal. Stick those uh, plus threes in your head. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. But then, but then, if I die, then uh, I lose those. Yeah, that's the part of being in a war. Yeah, and I'm and I'm dying often enough that I think that that would not be a um, a good uh, use of money. So, okay. Well, hold on, everybody. Uh, we'll be right back and do a drawing. And uh, YouTubers, watching tomorrow, buddy. Thanks, everybody.